<clears throat> One, two, three. Start recording. Hey guys, it's Sergeant Chicken over here. <clears throat> ah, man, I'm sorry, my throat's horrible. Um, I'm here to create a tutorial for people who want to make videos like I do. Because I know um, some people are there. Ah, Jesus! Some people there, right? Yeah? are interested in learning how to make videos there you go sorry I was stuttering uh, here are a few programs that I use uh, I use um, Adobe Premiere mainly for the editing uh, that's super serious movie 2 I'm editing right now though uh, I don't want to make any spoilers I'm not gonna use this I use uh, Photoshop uh, After Effects Audacity for sounds source filmmaker for 3d animation but uh... i guess first thing is first i'm gonna start with basics so that you guys can um... can make something basic All right. so let's start with a new file it's called um... sheet right I'm sorry i can't think of anything if you wanted a more mature joke then i'm sorry but i got nothing got nothing okay so this thing right here is the timeline uh, this is where you put the video clips this is where you put the sound clips right uh, video clips usually come with sounds and this is where all your uh, what's the word assets go for example you want an image right uh, let's go to my image files sorry for my messy desktop by the way I got a lot of folders and crap for filmmaking. Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Ainsley Harriet over here is gonna help us. And, um, uh, chicken, I guess. And, um, right, this parking lot is gonna be my background. And the box. And, uh, a gun okay so those are PNG files uh, PNG files are images that have transparent backgrounds right you're probably gonna wanna put your background at the very first layer with after uh, with Adobe assuming of course you've already installed this stuff <clears throat> alright so there's your background right there it's a parking lot right uh, you're gonna put your character in so for example just pretend this chicken is a character you cut out in uh, Photoshop or whatever I'll make a tutorial about that later uh, okay so for example that chicken is Ainsley Harriet's head right and uh, he's a chicken yes and he has a corpse destroyer right you'll put whatever you want to see first you have to put it on the top layer uh, Oh man, I'm I'm really horrible at explaining. I don't have a script or anything. Um, so here's a problem, right? That you will notice the corpse destroyer is backwards. Now we want to flip it. Flip. Uh, is it horizontal? I'm sure it's horizontal. Yeah, no, it's not. That is vertical, I guess. Nope, that was horizontal. I was wrong. Thank you. So that's Ainsley Harriet, right? He's got a corpse destroyer and he's a chicken. Right. Uh, I guess the only problem is I have to move it one by one because they're all separate layers. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Here's Mr. Ainsley Harriet, right? He's got his beautiful face. A chicken. Right. And he... Oh, by the way, this lock thing, this is, uh... This means the layer is locked. You can't use that can't touch it you can't accidentally delete it whatever you get the corpse destroyer over here yeah okay so now you have Ainsley Harriet with a corpse destroyer as a chicken okay it's perfect I mean whatever um they're all your assets yeah oh okay he wants to shoot this box right just drag it over here uh, if there's no layer it's empty, just drag it and whatever. Man, you probably aren't learning anything, but whatever, you know. 
it's what you came here for. <laughs> it's exactly what you came here for. All right, here's a box. Okay. No, this is boring. Let's just delete that. Go to file. Import. You go to wherever you save your stuff. I like making folders to keep files in and putting it in my favorites. So that I can just go images, layers. Alright, Ainsley Harriet is going to be shooting uh, Batman. <coughs> Sorry, where's Batman? God damn it, I lost Batman. <sighs> right, okay. Now, Ainsley Harriet, how about this? It's a leaper, okay. Right, here's a leaper, right? Ainsley Harriet's gonna be shooting a leaper. Okay, he's gonna be shooting a leaper right there. Boom. Look at how realistic that is. I mean, I can make separate tutorials to improving that, but you know, we're just doing a basic crap here. Uh, if you don't have any... Say you want to do an effect right now where he's going to pull the trigger. He's going to shoot the leaper. Uh, you go to the internet. Yes. I mean, you know, when a tutorial makes you Google things, it's a good tutorial. Go to YouTube. YouTube. All right. Um. Ah. Oh. <coughs> ah. Oh, I forgot what the other thing was. Oh yeah. Uh, clip converter. Dot cc. All right. If you guys are worried about uh, viruses or whatever, just download ad blocker. All right. So you need. You want Ainsley Harriet to shoot the leaper, but you don't have any effects have any effects to make it look like the gun is actually shooting you're gonna have to go to the internet and type in muzzle flash machine gun right you get a green screen you don't want the black screen ones you want a green screen ones so you see how we do PNG files they have separate uh, separate damn it they have transparent backgrounds so this picture of the uh, leaper right here it's actually a picture a square but it gives you the illusion that it's just the leaper that doesn't have a background to it. That's because the background's transparent, but it's actually a square with a painting or a picture, an image, a drawing, and the transparent uh, color in the back of it. That's PNG. Not all image files like JPEGs have um, transparent backgrounds, uh, uh, GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to pronounce it as. They also can do transparent backgrounds but P I, I believe PNGs are clear anyway you go back here you see a ton of muzzle flashes right on YouTube let's see this first one alright see so that looks good it looks like it's gonna give me seizures oh, oh, no Freddy Wong no alright you copy this now we opened the link earlier clip converter dot cc we paste the video we want to download. I personally like using MOV files, whatever. Right, so you download, yeah, whatever, high def, sure. <coughs> In this video, I'm going to teach you how to remove that that crap. Ugh. All right, download that, guys. Save. Okay, go to your thing. Don't mind if you um, uh, if you find porn. Just, just ignore it. Pretend it's not porn. Okay. Ah, oh, no, it's awful. Right, for example, uh, I made uh, a folder here that that makes effects and stuff. What's a folder where I put effects. Okay, video. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's where I put all my green screens and crap. Now you want to name it something that stands out because if you're an idiot like me, you're going to end up with problems. If I want to say find uh, the video of uh, a green screen of, of a helicopter, I'm going to have a hard time. I'm going to have to type it here, which takes forever because there's so many files. Helicopter. Okay, maybe it doesn't take forever, man. I'm an idiot. All right, I'm... All right. Ugh. God. Delete that. Right, rename it to machine gun. Okay. Ah, uh, duh. Sorry. 
muzzle flash MG. There you go. Put it over where you put your videos and folders, right? And you look it up, muzzle flash MG. Right, just typed it. Drag it over here. Uh, if if instead of importing, you drag it over here, there's a chance that uh, Premiere will crash. I don't know why, but it's best to save before you do this. Or don't do it at all and just import. I, I'm a lazy piece of crap, so I just, just do that. Alright, so now resize that thing. Yeah, double click and resize it with these square things, or whatever. You want to take off the green screen because right now it doesn't have a transparent background. What you see is a muzzle flash with a green screen and it covers the whole screen. You go to Ultra Key, search on effects, Ultra Key. Drag over Ultra Key over here and you press that. Boom. Now you have a transparent background, but you have the muzzle flash. You're going to have to put it right. Uh, hold on. Crap. I just want to unlink this because uh, sometimes videos with no sounds, or if you just have a video but you don't like the sound, you want to remove it. You have to unlink it if they come together and delete it. These ones, they don't get any sounds because they're image, images. All right. Effects again. Flip. Flip, flip, flip. No, I don't know if I'm even helping anyone with this tutorial, but whatever. Yeah, there we go. Awesomeness. Okay, so as you can see, boom, boom. Oh crap! Just place it wherever, wherever it looks fine. Boom. <laughs> that looks awful. Oh man. All right. If you want, you could do it frame by frame, I guess. Uh, frame, bang. Next frame, it kind of messes up again. Alright, just cut this out. Go back to that frame. This frame. Damn it! And move that thing. Alright, this is the uh, fun part of editing. Uh, you, sometimes you're forced to do. Uh, tasks like these, but you know, you could argue it's part of the fun. Uh, yeah, that looks fine, I guess. Ugh, man. <clears throat> yeah, this one needs to cut, cut it again. Just razor tool. If I fail to explain anything in this uh, amazingly scripted video just please let me know I will try my best to improve tutorials in the future uh, I just jumped on it and uh, I didn't really explain how to install anything I'm probably just gonna edit it and uh, explain how to where to get these uh, you know editing software Right, if you just noting with, when it comes to frame by frame stuff, if you mess up once, you know, just start over. Sort of. Alright, that looks. Alright, you know, you get the idea. I mean, I could edit the rest, but I'm I'm too lazy. I'm just trying to show a tutorial. So we have Ainsley area shooting something. You can see the muzzle flashes. I mean, it looks basic. I mean, I didn't polish it. Okay, don't hate me. Now we want to make it look like the leaper is bleeding. You you do what you what you saw me do again. You you YouTube it, green screen, except type in what you need to see like blood splatter, and uh, download it. Uh, I already have one in my special effects. It's called bloody mess, and for some reason these ones aren't green screen. They already have a transparent background. Don't mistake it for a black background though. Okay. So we want the leaper to get hit first before we add blood, right? We want to make it look like it's being knocked back by the gun. I mean, we should have edited Ainsley to have knocked back, but we didn't. So I guess we're going to just wing it. I mean, it's for tutorial sake. So <clears throat> you go position, scale, and rotation. This is sort of a basic image animation when it comes to Premiere Pro. 
frame by frame. Oh, so you see the. Uh, let me zoom in here. Plus, 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 plus. Right, these things over here, they're called keys, keyframe. Sorry, keyframe. So this is a frame where you want them to do something, or when you don't want them to do something. Right now, the leaper. I want them to do something. I'm gonna add a keyframe here. I want him to stand still the way he is. There you go. So that you know, because if I if I didn't add that keyframe and I just make him rotate and jump up like that, uh, this will happen. Uh, damn it, leaper. Right, this will happen. Whoop. Yeah, that will happen if you just immediately jump on t to uh, making him do stuff. Like you have to be. All right. So he gets shot. You want him to bend over a bit, like ouch. Okay. See, this is how it looks, right? If uh, you have a keyframe of him standing, boom. Okay, now it looks pretty slow and subtle. But if you remove that and you just leave the keyframe from the beginning where he's standing still to the keyframes where you want him to move over. Without even being shot, he looks like he just doesn't care about life and he wants to bend over and stuff. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, you want him to move out the screen while he's getting shot, I guess. Crap, I'm just... Sorry, it's being horrible, okay? I'm just freaking giving an example. Okay, he's dead. There you go. Are you, are you a lot happy? Because he's, he's dead. Killed him. Alright. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's the video. <laughs> no. Um, add blood, 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 blood. All right, blood. Uh, where is he gonna get hit? Say somehow, because Ainsley Harry is an expert marksman, gets hit on the head, even though he's shooting from all the way down there. Put the blood over there. All right, see, here's the problem now. Because your leaper image file here is moving. If you add blood, it's not gonna follow it. Now you have to do the keyframe for the blood. Boom. Alright, get the blood. Alright, this is tricky because my. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Yeah. Position. I don't need to do these ones. I'm only gonna do these ones if I'm gonna scale them, which means making larger, smaller, and uh, rotate. If you ever mess up, Control Z that stuff and uh, undo it. All right, so he gets it. Oh, and he moves over. He's moving over there. The keyframe's gonna do it for you automatically. See, like in this frame, he's over there. I'm gonna move it here. Keyframe's gonna automatically be added. All right, just move that, and he's dead. Okay. Okay, let's see how it goes now. Oh man, it's amazing. Ainsley Harriet, you're great. Now you want to add sound effects because it's just a quiet um, set of images moving right now. Uh, of course, you can when you get good at this later. You can uh, you can add videos and 3D animation and all that stuff. Right now, we're only combining image uh, basic animation, I'd call it, and uh, green screen effects. Now we're gonna add sound effects. We want sound effects for guns. You can download that on YouTube again. Use a clip converter, uh, make it an MP3 file, or go to a site called YouTube to MP3.com. Uh, dot org, sorry, and it will convert any YouTube video into an MP3 file. I have a lot of uh, saved um, sound effects here already. Here are weapons, gunshots, oh, AK, okay. <laughs> What a <laughs> loop, sure. Uh, import that, wait for it to import. Now we're gonna match the sounds with the uh, gunshots. Ugh, frame, there you go. There's a gunshot. Oh, that's off. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Alright, that's nothing. Add another one. I mean, what you could do later is. Um, Sync the muzzle flashes to the sound effects. It's up to you. It's up to what you want to do. But right now, I'm just jumping into it to teach people stuff. Um, you know, three. This. Now here's another mother. Muzzle flash. What? <clears throat> Oh, 
Yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> Man, that is amazing. Uh, Ainsley Harriet as his chicken shooting a leaper with a course destroyer. But, uh, it doesn't continue shooting because we didn't put sound effects for the nozzle flash. Uh, I guess what you can do is if, uh, if you want it to stop shooting, sooner just cut that crap off there you go yay uh say you want to make it a bit more realistic right you want Ainsley Harriet to um to kind of jerk as he's shooting right you do the same thing with the leaper position scale rotation as he's shooting we want him to move his head a bit. Bang. Alright, bang. Uh, I don't think we need to move it, just rotate it. Uh, sh okay, go back to normal, I guess, every time he stops. And then it goes back again. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I hope you guys are getting the point. <laughs> of how I make videos with this stuff it's just basic uh, it's good to start like this and uh, eventually uh, you figure out how to do it in After Effects I mean this is like After Effects if you're making GIFs uh, except there's no sound <sighs> sorry I can't, I can't talk okay I'm tired I just got home from work and everything jeez leave me alone yeah! Okay, he's moving every time he shoots. Uh, I guess what else? Uh, corpse destroyer. Alright, we want to animate the corpse destroyer. Lock everything else. Hold shift, press lock. It'll lock all the layers and the video layers. And then just unlock the one you want to move. So I won't accident. Because look, if this that ain't unlocked and I try and press it, I can accidentally click Ainsley Harriet's head or the parking lot or whatever. Alright. So every time the gun shoots, we want it to move back a bit and move forward again, I guess, every time. Oh man, sorry. See, this is what happens if you forget to key it. You have to go back again and key it from the start. I mean, make sure you make sure there's a keyframe there. Press this timer thing. Press this timer cuz uh it's off. All right, move move here. All right, now instead of doing it one by one, just copy and paste it. Uh, damn it, hurry up! Copy and paste, control C, control V. 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 Damn it! V. Ugh. Jesus. Alright, again. You guys having fun yet? Again. Uh, again. Again. Uh, I guess that's done. Yeah. Yeah! That's great. So now it looks more realistic. Uh, I guess we mess up because um, he stopped shooting here but he continues shaking so we get rid of those keyframes I guess. Right now, let's do it again. Yeah! yeah that's better. Mm -hmm. Great! How long has it been? Oh my god, this has been a 24 minute tutorial. That's fun! Well, I'm gonna stop right here. Uh, I am gonna edit this and add in the video that I made. As you can see, this is what you can accomplish by doing. I just freaking did whatever the hell kind of tutorial that was. Uh, oh, oh, one more thing. You might want to add ambience. Ambience is background music. Mu not music, sorry. Uh, sound effects. So, um, 
you have a parking lot right here. You have a background, a parking lot. Sure, there it is. It doesn't sound alive. You know why? Because there's no freaking sound. I'm gonna go sound. I have some saved stuff. I'm using uh, ones that have been saved in places like uh, the Left 4 Dead folder. Because if you have Steam, if you play Steam, you can get the sound effects from the games, which is great. It's already saved. You don't have to download it. Hold on, I'm looking for it. Source filmmaker. Okay, first you go to Steam, right, and program files and stuff. Yes, Steam apps. What a common, I think. Yeah. And whatever game. Left 4 Dead. Um. This one. Sound. Ambient. Oh yeah. It's ambience. Um. What's a good one? Underground tunnel. Yes. For example, tunnel. Right. I want to do this at par the parking lot sound kind of thing. All right. So I put it down there. At the parking lot. So you know it sounds like Ainsley Harriet the chicken is actually in the parking lot. Of course the ambience just abruptly ends. That's why it's a loop. Well, just copy and paste it. And a good way of blending them, if you don't... They, these are professional loops, right? For a game, specifically. But if you try and do, just download an ambience on YouTube, it might have a problem where it keeps looping. I mean, it's obvious that it loops. Just uh, blend them together like that, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, that's fading. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of stuff that you have missed. Apply transition, right click, yeah, yeah. Let me see how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds stupid. Yeah, let's just leave it as it was. If it sounds dumb, just whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what's the plan? Yeah, it's just shortening this thing. We want to fade out everything. I mean, the problem with layers is you can't really fade them out to just black. I mean, look at that. Look like ghosts. Yeah, boom. Okay. That cuts because, well, it cuts it, shouldn't I do that? See what happens if I don't cut. Okay, this still, still cuts that. Eeh. Alright. You get my point. Fading, right click. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was <laughs> creepy as hell. Oh! Okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, so you can't just fade all of that to black. Look what happens. They all look like ghosts. If you want this film to end in black, uh, you get a black... That's uh, just black square, which I have saved already. Yeah, go to import again. Uh, images, layers. It's time in black, I guess. If you're having difficulty finding something, you use the search bar here. Assuming you're using Windows 8, you know, the most brilliant thing in the world where Skype is difficult as hell to use. Alright, you want the black thing to fade in and close the thing. Look how small it is. You can still see the edges. Just enlarge it. Boom. There you go. Done. Done. Alright, now we shall see our masterpiece at I don't even know. Amazing. And I guess you just stare at him for a long time until it gets to black. Yes, well done, thank you very much. Alright, uh, well, I just might as well teach you how to fix that. If it's too long like that and you don't want it to be too long, you just cut it short. It's pretty simple. Uh, cut, 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 cut. Jeez. Yeah. Mm. You guys having fun yet? No? Alright. Cool. 30 freaking minute video, Jesus. Okay. Yes. Alright, just put that together. Boom, there we go. We have the short video of Anzirian. Uh, if it gets laggy like that, press enter. Render that piece of crap. Uh, rendering can take long depending on how much layers you have I mean if you want to do like a video 
where you track someone's head like say you cut out your dead front to your head and you put it on something that can take ages to render Right, uh, I see another problem with this video. I mean, I know we're not trying to be serious or anything, but you can tell that it's separate images. They don't feel like they're together. Uh, let me just cut this thing for a short. Okay, maybe you should have added sound effects for the Leaper as well. But we didn't. <laughs> okay. Alright, so those uh, images, they feel like they aren't together. You want to go to color correction. <sighs> Corrector. Fast one. I use the fast one. So you get it on your images. Uh, here it is. Uh, say I want blue. I want blue. Kind of like dark, dark, this night, whatever. Alright, so you copy the color correction effects, right? Just select this thing, copy. Select all the files, uh, things here, in the timeline. Make them all blue, paste. Boom. Look, uh, you can see now they have a tint of blue. So, I guess they kind of now feel like they're at least in the same place. Like, it's not just a background image. <sighs> whatever guys what are, you get what I mean okay just geez leave me alone you have to re-render the whole crap again which is great uh, uh, what else can you make there uh, you can make it a bit more realistic I guess add particle smoke SFX smoke smoke um, rising smoke is what I have alright yeah whatever Here's rising smoke. So just pretty much a layer. It makes it look like uh, the whole place is smoking. <laughs> yeah. <That> render. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? You know, you having, having an interesting day? Yeah. Jeez, I doubt anyone's even gonna actually try and learn anything in this video, cause uh, it's it's all convoluted. But uh, you know, you know what I'm, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Just freaking great, guys. This is how long uh, real time editing could be, and we're just making a simple few second clip. Okay, look at that. There's smoke. It looks kind of real. I'm not gonna make it carry on continuing. What else is wrong with this video? Oh yes, there's no sound effect for the leaper indicating that it's hurt. Okay, uh, or or just sound effect of the blood of the hit, whatever. Jeez, do I have a sound file for that? You, since you guys are a beginner and I assume you don't have a library of sound effects, you're gonna have to save a lot of sound effects and make your own library folders and crap. Now I have hit knife hit. Alright, whatever. Let's pretend it's hit marker and knife and whatever. Okay. Dragon and sound one. Look for the moment where he gets hit. No, I don't mean that. Click in the timeline. Alright, All right. he gets shot. Boom. Alright, hit marker. I guess. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, assuming the hair, you a piece of crap shooting. You don't want him to get to make it look like he only hit the hit leaper once, and that's up to you. Let's see what the knife hit sounds like. Ah, oh, that sounds better, I guess. Uh, <coughs> body drop. So the body hitting the floor, you know, it makes the video feel more alive, I guess. Uh, body falling downstairs. Sound effects. Alright, uh, like if you have a long one, just cut out these uh, these empty, quiet-looking parts. Look for the big lumps. Jeez. Alright. Oh, uh, no, 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 it sooner, it looks like it hit sooner than that. Hey, you press this, by the way, to see it. Should. Yeah, that. Yeah, 
All right, there we go. You faintly hear it. Uh, that's, that's cool. uh, say you want a leap or sound effect, you can record yourself going. I'm going to go stop my recording and record myself going just for the sake of the video. Okay, crap, that didn't work out so well, whatever the hell I did. Uh, point is, if you have Audacity installed, you go to Audacity, press the record button, and you go... Alright, yeah, that's the reap. Sorry. That's the leaper getting hit, getting shot, now it's dead. And I will just edit that in, because, I mean, I'm still live recording. Oh, man. I'll post the final video at the end of this crap and hopefully you learned something because if you didn't you, know, you suck honestly man Jesus how can you not learn this basic shit man what no, I'm joking I'll see you guys uh, if this uh, tutorial didn't help anybody then I guess I'm just not gonna make any more I did my best I can go even more advanced than this obviously because this is just basic crap and I'll see you guys some other time when I finish my next project. Peace.